my name is Stefan Talian. I'm originally from Slovakia, living here in San Diego like for 10 years. And I'm a painter. <laughs> yeah, I love to paint people. Like human physics is very inspiring for me. I love to paint emotions and motion. <laughs> I came to San Diego and I was kind of, I could not find myself. It was kind of dark and depressing time. I was just trying to paddle and get somewhere. And then one friend told me I should write about my feelings. It's just good to let it go. And I had a hard time with it because my English to write was not really good enough and Slovak was not enough already. <laughs> so he told me to paint about it because he, know, he knew I, I'm kind of artistic. And I said, okay, and I did. And after first painting, it just was very, very clear to me that that's my calling and here I am. <laughs> I was asked a few times about my art, about my, my vision and idea about painting, like what is it for me? And I, I could not find out like what is art for me because it's everything, like it's, it's my life now. But the one, one idea came, it's my third language. Because art came to my life when, right after I came out, and I just entered a completely new world and I could not, I was like a toddler, I, I, I just didn't know what to do with life. So to find something I can express without talking, because my accent is my, I feel it as a handicap and, and, and it just, it just worked. Like, like I can express anything that I feel and who likes it, look at it, who doesn't, it just, they don't. And, and everybody can see completely different story they can make with their hearts. So it's, it's just my third language. <laughs> First painting ever was like that. What happened with those feelings? I just bought, went to store, and I bought black and white tube of paints, and I just tried because I had experience with pencils. So I was like, I guess maybe that was my calling. So I tried, and it was just perfect because that was my life. I was just high, or I was low. So it was like black and white, and when I mixed them together on one canvas, and I saw it can be beautiful and it works. So I, I just. Stop to look look for for colors for for a while. I was just doing black and white and mixing it together. So I start painting in my bedroom, like in three by three feet space, <laughs> and it was cool. It was fun. I just felt squeezed. So then I go to garage, and it was more space, but it was dark. And then I met Patrick with studio door, and he showed me that studio with a huge window on whole wall, and I was like, done. <laughs> it's mine. So I moved in, and I just love. It was in first location, I love that space. And so far I was showing my art in groups, group ex exhibitions and it's fun, I, I love it. But I really, really would like to have a gallery who represent me and take me out of San Diego because here I have friends and I, I can show myself but I would like to be shown elsewhere too. So this is my big goal for maybe this year, I hope. <laughs> so I'd love you to find me on Facebook, Instagram and follow me, like me and stay connected. I just created my YouTube channel, but I don't know how to operate yet, but it's there, so find it and please subscribe. <laughs>